went like this, what happens is, <laughs> so that means you're probably going to have to take all the, the sensor off and flip it to the other side. Yeah, the sensor, and like I said, that was really bad illustration. I'm going to blame it on them. Um, it yeah, looks like it can't the, be your fault. No, it looks like this right here, the sensor is going to have to go on the opposite side. Damn it. My hand. My love. Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. On today's episode, we have got a special one for you. We've got the Yo's Power e-bike conversion kit. That's right, you guys got saw the initial impressions and the install on this. It was a pretty popular video, but we did intend to put this on a Mongoose Ardor, maybe that was the reason. And then we switch it up on you halfway through and put it on a 26 inch Nishiki men's Pueblo mountain bike. I have a feeling that the Yo's Power rear hub on this thing will not be overmatched when it comes to this bike size. This thing, I got to play with it a little bit and uh, I cannot wait to jump on it, ride around town a little bit and show you guys what all it has to offer. We've got the throttle, we've got the bike computer. We're gonna be talking about this thing. It's fully charged. One thing I did want to mention uh, before we do get started, if you guys remember on the initial impressions install, I did it wrong where it was basically backwards, where the pedal assist you had to go backwards and then the motor kicked on, right? Obviously something was wrong. The booklet was terrible instructions, but after about an hour of work and taking out the bottom bracket, we're actually able to flip that guy completely around and get the sensors to work. There was a lot of uh, work involved on that, but in the end, everything that Yo's Power sent us, we were able to use all the tools and get the job done with this bike. So you guys are interested in this. And a few extra tools. And a few extra tools, yeah, and some drinks. Also on today's episode, we're gonna be doing everybody's favorite segment. That's right, a little bit of Yo's Power with a mail time segment. Everybody's favorite segment, it's going to be awesome. Got mail from all over the nation and we have been waiting to open it. So guys, if that is what you are into, a little bit of mail time, a little bit of Yo's Power e-bike conversion kit, real time review, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the Wolf Dick Nation and guys let's get on this thing and let's get after it all right guys we are about to do the yo's power real-time review so you guys all know we had such a problem we had actually um shaved down the bolts down here for the bottle cage holder and only one of them worked is the reason why we have these velcro straps on here just to make sure this thing stays mounted we do have it locked in place it is in the on position fully charged battery now we're going to come over here to the bike computer we're going to hit the on button kind of does this little dance here and let's see okay so that's the battery power okay now that's level one two three four and five so we're going to go to level one at the moment we got the throttle ready to go on this 500 watt yo's power let's do this okay so pedal assist only i'm gonna drop the seat down a little bit um, i am in second gear and with the pedal assist the downside i think that this computer whoa Oh, level two. Damn, dude, it jumped uh, big time. It's kind of a downside to the computer if you try to point out at it. <laughs> um, level one, I, I starts to kick in around seven kilometers an hour. Nothing in the booklet uh, shows that you can actually change this between kilometers an hour or miles per hour. So unfortunately, it is stuck in kilometers an hour. We'll have to look on the internet and see if anybody's done a video on that yet to actually change it over. But um, after getting the sensor swapped over, it seems like it's doing a great job as far as um, the uh, pedal assist goes. Because remember, before it was not working in the forward position, so it was definitely a headache. But seven, eight kilometers an hour um, and in second gear. So it is very smooth. It actually kicks out really soft. It doesn't just die out, and it actually kicks on super soft. So that rear hub, 500 watt, um, I'm liking it in the low speed department. We'll go do a pedal assist level three see where it shows that we're going 17 kilometers an hour which man i sure do wish it was in miles per hour i'm thinking maybe tops out 25 miles an hour i don't know we're gonna put it through its paces but um, again the uh, brake levers here uh, do have their wixing they do have the levers in there or the sensors to actually kick the motor off um, or stop the motor uh, whenever you hit your brakes so right now with level two let's see i gotta get down to seventh gear this is a mega range or i'm sorry level three pedal assist we're getting to 25 kilometers an hour and it is just i mean guys it's just butter up this hill wow my feet are just barely going here and i'm just cruising it's doing all of the work for me 
All right, so it's starting to struggle right now. This is a pretty intense grade. 16 kilometers an hour. Let me turn it up to level four. Level four does not make a difference. Neither does level five. We're going to turn it back down to level three. So both of those don't make a difference. Let's go to level two. This is a little much, really. That's crazy. I'm going to have to convert these miles per hour, the kilometers an hour to miles per hour. So it looks like um, level two is right at 15 kilometers an hour. Okay. We're going to have to drop the seat down a little bit. Whoa. Oh, I thought it had cruise control there for a second. We haven't even used the throttle yet. That's something that's kind of weird. You guys can see my legs going. Once I let go, the motor's still kicking on, and then it kicks off really lightly. That's interesting. I was thinking that, um, I was actually thinking that it was just going to cut off real slow, uh, but it kind of takes a minute. I thought it had cruise control for a second. Okay, now, while it's on level two, uh, one of the downsides to this kit, well, one is that uh, the struggle with having a frame, this, this frame is huge, guys. It's a 22 inch frame. Uh, having a kit, or the little slider where it mounts onto the bottle cage, that actually fits. Now, there have been a few people that have reached out let us know that there is a type of adapter or conversion that you can do to actually fit a frame. But this is like the biggest of 26 inch frames that we've got in stock, and it still doesn't fit completely. So that was really a bummer. Um, to have to shave down that head and it not be a great finish job. That was kind of a letdown with this. Uh, running the wires, all that stuff was great. Now it does come with the package uh, that you, it's a, basically a pouch that you could put a lot of your power, uh, kind of the cords and stuff in there. But I just figured, you know, this thing's gonna be an inside ride. It's not gonna be a commuter. We're not gonna be taken out in the rain. Hope to not be taken out in the rain. Uh, so we don't need to put that on there. But it does come with some stuff to protect some of the wires. Um, another downside to this was the, uh, the whole bottom bracket fiasco, you know, that was a big issue, man, level three pedal assist. I'm loving it. It just kicks on no problem whatsoever. Wow. And is it smooth? And really my feet are almost struggling to catch up. The interesting thing, let's see if I can, if I can relay this the best while I'm pedaling, if there's a little bit of slack in my pedal, right? Like say I'm pedaling here, there's a little bit of slack and I go to pedal again and I go to pedal it stays engaged the entire time which i guess can kind of be considered a plus and a minus um it does feel a little weird because it continues to go after you let off probably about two seconds after you let off of the pedal it goes and then it dies out so that's interesting but um the whole fiasco with the bottom bracket and the whole sensor deal was a pain in the butt you know it was a real bummer to try to follow the directions and you're looking at the arrows and just nothing works or lines up Okay, so uh, not a bad ride uh, from down there up here. What we're going to do now, guys, we're going to turn this up to level five, and we're going to do nothing but uh, throttle right now, okay? And we're going to see how this thing takes off. So throttle only. This is all throttle. Feet are staying still. Uh, we are at 12, 15 kilometers an hour. All throttle. Um, level five on the throttle. Throttle is pretty comfortable. I had to pull over here on the left side because we got the old school lever on the right and i can feel this motor struggling i'm a little over 150 pounds at the moment and this is struggling but as soon as i go to pedal it just wants to go ahead and start kicking on so that's not an issue uh you know as far as the power is concerned i mean i think most people that ride an e-bike even though you have a throttle if you know how to work a shifter you're gonna realize hey i gotta pedal every once in a while and that, that's not a big deal but uh, this is gonna be more the top end speeds we found out down there um all the levels don't help out with the taking off department but let's go ahead and pedal it a little bit let's see what we can get up to speed wise at least in kilometers an hour um this is all throttle i'm gonna turn my headlight on uh, another downside, and you think that um, Yo's Power would have thought of this. Okay, so we're going 46 kilometers an hour. You think Yo's Power would have thought of this. They really should have hooked you up with a lighting kit. I'm going to let go of the throttle because we're just coasting at 52 kilometers an hour is the top speed. But we are going downhill, so that's not any power. It's not kicking on whatsoever. It starts to kick on right at 40. Right at 40 kilometers an hour, guys, is where it kicks on. So I'm guessing that's the top speed. Um... You know, I wish that they would have given you a lighting kit. We had to buy a um, headlight and a tail light for this thing. But if you always probably have been thinking, you know, this thing is meant to convert a non-e-bike to a full-blown e-bike. So I just wish that they would have thought about that. I think most people would be really comfortable getting this thing for a commuter, you know. All right, so we're going to take off. We're going to go to the left over here, maybe check out a little bit of the city. But mainly we're just going to stick around the neighborhood. It's starting to get a little dark. And even though we've got the lighting kit on this thing, I still don't know if I trust the... Uh, 
the drivers out here. So let's turn this thing down to level three. Um, I am a fan of the battery being able to dismount it or de it's a detachable battery. It does weigh a lot, but having the safety to be able to take this thing indoors, maybe if you don't really have a lot of room inside for your whole bike, you can at least take your battery inside and maybe it'll deter somebody from, from taking it. But man, $400 and to be able to install it on the bike. And a very cool thing that Yoast Power did think of is they thought about um, they thought about giving you all of the tools necessary to be able to install it on a 26 inch bike. And that goes both for a free wheel and a free hub. The free hub version comes with the uh, lock ring tool. So that is just, it is very neat on their end. You know, Yoast Power did a pretty good job putting this package together. I just wish the directions were better, um, especially when it comes to the sensor on the, uh, the crank set down there. But um, no pedaling whatsoever right now, just using the throttle. Um, I don't know, a super smooth ride. I am impressed. Um, it does have some pretty good amount of giddy up. We're gonna do a top end speed run here. Or let's turn this bike computer all the way up. We're gonna take a right. We're gonna see how fast we can get this thing up to in kilometers an hour that is. Um, yeah, V-brakes are grabbing pretty good, man. Reminds me when I was a kid. All right, so let's see. We are gonna do throttle only the entire way, okay? I really wish, well, we don't, we'll see right now, guys. We'll actually see if this thing has got full, um, full cruise control. If I hold this thumb down for long enough, or the throttle, let's see if we let go. Okay, so like we thought, 40 kilometers an hour is what it tops out at. I'm thinking that's about 25 miles an hour. We're not going super fast, but we're scooting a pretty good ways. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let off the throttle, and we're gonna see if it's got cruise control. Okay, and it doesn't. Man, I was kind of hoping it did. A lot of e-bikes, you know, you hold down that throttle for a minute and it goes, but uh, we'll put it in seventh gear. Yeah, and this mega range, I'm barely starting to kick in. That's something that's interesting too, is right now, I'm not pedaling, like putting any tension on the group set whatsoever, on the, uh, the rear cogs back there, right? Like the chain is just moving it barely but that sensor is doing a great job and sensing that i'm pedaling so the cool thing is i don't have to do this uh, real real fast in order for it to kick on i just got to pedal really slow and as long as i'm moving my feet uh we're going at the uh, level pedal assist vibe that we need to be so i'm just cruising with the feet here that is that's awesome man feels like i'm moonwalking forward that's a forward moonwalk there uh, the bike computer is actually, it's pretty bright. Um, I'm not sure if I'm really into the button pressing of going forward and backwards with it. I kind of wish it was a touch screen. Um, it's not bad. The power button is kind of a weird position. And then we have a button on the bottom. And I'm hoping maybe that that button on the bottom is a potentially a way to change it between kilometers an hour and miles per hour. But man, for the most part, I am a fan. Uh, I think my favorite part is the sensor with the wheels and how smooth the brushless rear hub kicks on and off on this thing. But it just kind of goes a little bit longer than expected. But it does kind of smoothly die off. It doesn't just jolt and stop. Um, but the pressure sensitiveness of the throttle is awesome. Like I can barely press it a little bit here. And although it's on level five, the cool thing is it doesn't just kick from zero to 60. It's holding that speed that I want it to hold that with the throttle. So it is pressure sensitive. I can go a little bit more and now we're at 30. And I'll go a little bit more and I feel it kicking up speed. Now we're at 35. I go a little bit more and then it maxes out all the way to uh, 40 kilometers an hour. Wow. So we have pressure sensitive. Ma'am, this is the way to go for all you guys out there and gals that want to look at having an e-bike conversion kit i mean 400 bucks so let's say you put a 26 inch say you put a 26 inch e-bike conversion on a uh well it has to handle it maybe some type of roadmaster i think the roadmaster is a 26 inch from walmart and at times you can get that bike for like 100 bucks right 100 dollars. you buy this that's right at a 600 and $50 e-bike. 650 bucks for an e-bike that does this. We're still at a full battery level. I don't think it's got a, um, what do you call that? Like something that keeps track of the mileage. I don't know if it has all that. Let's see here. If I press the bike computer a few times, it does nothing, the power or the M. 
So it doesn't really keep track of your mileage. I, it might, there might be a setting for that, but I didn't see anything in the booklet. But anyway, 650 bucks, uh, you know, to buy an e-bike or to convert one over, that's, that's awesome. And it's everything you need, you know? There's nothing in there that goes, oh, well, once you buy this kit, you're gonna need this or you're gonna need that. Yeah, there was a little bit of modifying that we had to do, and now we just got Velcro straps and it's keeping that battery silent. I'm not worried about the battery falling off. Uh, but just to have that confidence, you know, that we're just scooting along. And if my battery dies, um, we'll be able just to pedal this bike. So, man, I don't know, guys. You tell me what you think. Throttle's great. The it, This thing is silent. Uh, Yo's power. I, I'm, I am a fan, you know. This bike is just super smooth. It's our RV bike from now on. But, guys, uh, let's go ahead and let's jump over to some mail time. Everybody's favorite segment. Uh, man, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation just yet. You like uh, content like this. Um, it's what it's all about. I'm enjoying the hell out of myself on this bike. Uh, forget even going downtown. We're just going to cruise on this thing. But um, all right, guys, let's go check out some mail time. Again, be sure to hit that like button. All right, guys, everybody's favorite segment. Let's do it. You know what it is. Me. A little bit of mail time, baby. Come on. Jeez. I'm ready for this. Weird. I've been waiting for this mail time. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it passed you right on up. <laughs> What's well, the this one's right here. Right there. It's just right there. So. All right. First piece of mail. i got to be careful with opening this one. Do you know why? Why? Because it's meant to protect things. This here is from a brand. It's a Amazon store. Okay. It's called Asanto. We'll put some affiliate links in the description Asanto. below. Asanto sells frame protection sleeves for your guys's mountain bikes and here's an enly one and i believe berserker nick berserker nick gave them some business a while back and he sent us a black enly so i'm curious if you got okay. from asanto but guys they go anywhere from like nine to fourteen dollars bunches of different colors um and some uh some different designs yeah so uh, asanto said hey why don't you guys protect your frames you crash a lot we're gonna hook you up with a frame protector does so it work for deer <laughs> no this piece of mail is from speaking of which berserker Nick, one of our patrons, big old supporter of the channel. If you had it, it to has guess, a little bit of weight to it. It does. If you had to guess, what would you guess? I don't know. It's got. It's. It seems like something's rolled up. Something's rolled up. Okay, you you check that out. Open that one up. <laughs> Berserker Nick. Oh yeah, homeboy knows how much we use stems, and these here guys homeboy. are most of the time a pretty damn budget. The weight stems. I like the red and the blue. I haven't seen this design yet. Aqua. And uh, well, we got a little bit of fire we engine call red. It blue, but it's a little. Those are pretty. Yeah, nice looking. Yeah, very cool. I like the box. We like the, the we like the wake. Yeah, different design. Berserker Nick, thank you for thinking about us, man. This here is very interesting because it's circular. It's light. Most of the time, something circular, I'd be like, hey, that's a that's a cassette or something like that. This here is from old Raxman eighty. Raxman got him the butt just dropped. Another one of our patrons, right? Yeah. This is interesting. It almost feels like old camera reel. Oh, a little bit of now. spit goes a long way. What is it? Oh, it's that Jaguar. All right. I know he's like, this is, you know, Jaguar, alligator, this, alligator, that. Alligator, jaguar, jaguar stuff is smooth, crocodile. Man. There was something else, too, wasn't there? It's a Jaguar mountain bike uh, pro brake cable kit. You guys see that right there? Very awesome. You know why Raxman sent us this? Why did he send Because this? Homeboy just sent homeboy. us some Tektro brake levers, right? We got those levers, and we also got those TRP mechanical brakes, the old school style. Oh, okay. So this right here will definitely be needed for whatever bike we decide to put those brakes on, Raxman. Now, how much does something like that go for usually? Roughly? Usually. Ballpark. These are about $24 to $28. Okay, ballpark. Yeah, it says it's slick. Look at that, guys. There is cable in there. Yeah. Dude, Raxman. See what happens when you read a little bit? All right, Raxman got me the butt just dropped. Right. Thank you, man. Yeah. Go ahead and tell everybody how much we're into recycling. Uh, are we into recycling? <laughs> Well, guys, we, we do cans. We, we do cans. We, uh, my grandma, she's really big in recycling, so we make well, yeah. to get all of our plastic, grandma, our cardboard. Yes, uh, yes. We know everybody knows we have a lot of cardboard. We take it over to grandma's house you and we recycle have, it. You should have asked how much is grandma into recycling. Okay, so uh, this brand here, it's called Zebra Oasis, and they make a certain product. And they've teamed up with Let's Outdoor see. Master. Okay. Okay. And this is so cool, guys. It looks like a shoe. I have not really seen what these things look like yet. They just asked us, hey, uh, we've got a, um, a whole new type of shoe um, where comfort meets sustainability, 100% uh, made out of recycled material. It has a string built into the inside where you can actually pull that string all the way out, and it totally uh, like does away with all of the thread in this thing. Like You basically get it, you pull that cable, and then you stick that stuck in a recycling bin, and it'll be hopefully made to make more shoes. Well, that's awesome. I'm just curious. 
and how long they're going to last. That's interesting. It smells interesting, too. Put your, put your dude ah. on. Oh, man, old Mark Thompson, I'm sure you enjoyed that sniff test. Does he? Man, I, I might take that sucker in the shower right there and just kind of scrub my body with it. Let that sucker dry and stick it right back in there. Man, patrons showing some love. Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for sending us all this stuff. This here is from Big Sister Brenda and oh. Big Brother Kevin H. All right. All right. Now, now, how many, did they give you a limit on how many times you can thank them or anything? No, they got some uh, notes. Oh, is it notage? A little bit of notage. All right, here we go. Hello, boys. Just some random things to send along. We all know what a special <laughs> tick is, so couldn't resist. Brandy and Kevin. You know, I'm so happy that there's at least a few people in the Wolf Tick Nation that understand what a you are. The... Oh, oh wow. dude, that is awesome. It's the beer soap, man. That's Buff Look, that's Buffalo Trace. Bush. 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 <laughs> Mountain-sized beer soap. Dude, that oh, is I'm cool. sure that's for you and not for moi. Well, I think Look they're all that. for me, but yeah. That is cool. You know, Wolfman, he's a uh, he's a uh, a bar soap old yeah, school bar guy. Soap. You're yeah, a good I, bar I, soap. I have guy. a hard time with the body wash. Whoa, I see a woman down here. I got excited. That is cool. Thank Get you. your together all your favorite seasonings in one box <laughs> look at that <laughs> sweet and style all-purpose seasonings hot and spicy oh, oh that's dude gonna, oh that's gonna work out good we've got the good <laughs> we've got special <laughs> and we've got ah <laughs> i'm sure that's for you as well because you're the you're gonna be smoking some stuff you're gonna be doing the uh, wolf dick meetup with the patrons i hope so and uh big brother kevin h sent some bike related stuff all right. Oh, wow. Look at that lever. Oh, that is a gorgeous oh, lever. Wow, lever. Look at that thing. Oh, it does look good. Holy crap. A DB8 Ceram lever with... Oh, check out the caliper. With attached brake. Yeah, with attached brake. Guys, I just get giddy whenever I see attached brakes these days because we all know about hydraulics and uh, just the way they usually work out with oh, that's them. funny how much you've changed your opinion wow. on that. Oh, that's a four piston. That's uh -oh. a four piston. Uh -oh. oh, hell yeah. Some other ones that we're going to be trying out after all these cable actuated and all that yep. other stuff. Man. Back to, from cable back to hydraulics. That's, That's going to be fun. awesome. We got some food stuff. We are set. But all right. Well, thank soap. you two very much. Well, you you've got some soap. soap. You've got you, some you, bars you, of soap. You can use some soap, too. I don't, I don't like that bar soap. Oh, it's at least my do. skin. I got gentle skin. All right, well, thank you two very much. Man, uh, Berserker, Raxman. Talking vagina. Thank you guys for sending us the uh, mail. Such a good mail time segment. Yeah, man, we've got a bunch of stuff. we got a bunch of stuff to play with now. All right, well, guys, that was another Wolf Tick video mail time. Everybody's favorite segment.